This is the Quadratic Formula Project video. The first part of this project was to do it was the quadratic formula with the equation 5n squared minus 7n minus 3 equals 0. First we wrote the actual equation then we substituted the numbers in and we solved to get that one and then we went down and then we got all the way to 7 plus or minus 10.44 divided by 10. So then that's shown at the bottom. And then the answers we got from the other are shown right there. And they're approximated because 109 square root is a not a perfect square. This was solved by factoring. So this is the, the first equation was 2n squared minus 11n plus 15 equals 0. So we plugged it into the box and we put 2n squared there and 15 there. And we got a product of 30 because 15 times 2n and a sum of negative 11 because of that. And our final answers were n equals 3 and n equals 5 halves. The second equation was n squared minus 10n plus 25 equals 0. Uh, n squared is there and 25 is there. And product is 25 and sum is negative 10. And we got one answer of n equals 5. This is a parabola in for standard form. We got an axis of symmetry of negative 1, vertex of negative 1, 0, as uh, shown there, and some minimum value. And the equation was y equals 2x squared minus 1. This is the vertex form math that we did all the math on, the vertex form graph. This is the vertex form parabola, and the axis of symmetry was 2, and it was a minimum value. The equation was y equals 2 times x plus 1 squared minus 3. The vertex was 2, 4. This is the vertical motion equation word problem. We The problem we came up with was Bobby threw a baseball off his house, which is 40 feet above his yard. How long will it take the, for the ball to hit the ground if the ball's velocity is 20 feet per second? The initial velocity is 20 feet per second. The initial height is 40 feet. The initial velocity is how fast the baseball is falling. The initial height is the height that the baseball is being dropped at. So we took the equation, which is h equals negative 16t squared minus 20t plus 40. And then we did that, and since time can't be negative, we didn't have to do the minus, I mean the plus of that. So the time until the baseball hits the ground will be 1.08 seconds. And that concludes our quadratic formula project.